Hello friends and welcome back to my channel Knitting Kitty. This is the second part of my tutorial on how to crochet the cute little puppy Bingo. I will show you how to crochet the rest of Bingo's body and also how to assemble all the parts together. Let's start! First, we are going to crochet the ears. The ears consist of two parts, one crocheted with dark brown yarn and the other one crocheted with beige color. Start with the dark brown yarn and make a magic ring. Crochet six single crochet into it. For round 2, crochet, single crochet in the first stitch, then make an increase. Repeat, one single crochet, then make an increase. At the end, you will have 9 stitches. For the next round, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 4, crochet single crochet in the first 2 stitches, then make an increase. Repeat 2 single crochet, then in the next one make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until we have 12 stitches. For the next round, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For the next round, crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until we have 15 stitches. Now crochet 3 rounds without increases, make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Now let's crochet the second part of the ears, this time use beige color yarn. We are going to work in rows not rounds. Chain 2. then. Make an increase in the first chain stitch you've made, then chain 1 and turn. For the second row, crochet single crochet in the first stitch, then in the next one make an increase. Chain 1 and turn. For the 
the next row crochet single crochet in the first two stitches then in the last one make an increase chain one and turn next crochet single crochet in each stitch till the end of the row now crochet single crochet all over the triangle crochet to single crochet in each one of the corners finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing a darning needle and sew the beige part on top of the brown one. It's turn to crochet the arms. Use beige and light brown cower yarn. Start with a magic ring and crochet six single crochet into it. For the next round, crochet an increase in each stitch of the previous round. For round 3, make one single crochet in the first stitch, then in the next one make an increase. One single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches. For the next round, do not make increases. Crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 5, crochet single crochet in the first 4 stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat 4 single crochet, then make a decrease. Repeat till the end of the round until we have 15 stitches. For the next round, do not make decreases. Crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Now change to light brown cower yarn and for round 7 crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round.
For the next round, crochet, single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat 3 single crochet, then 1 decrease. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 12 stitches. Stuff a little bit. For the next 5 rounds, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Now let's crochet the legs. Again use beige and light brown cower yarn. Start with a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. For the second round, crochet an increase in each one of the previous six single crochet. For the next round, let's crochet single crochet in the first stitch, then in the next one make an increase. Repeat one single crochet, then an increase in the next stitch. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches. For round 4, crochet single crochet in the first two stitches, then make an increase. Repeat to single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 24 stitches. For the next round, do not make more increases. Crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 6, let's crochet, single crochet in the first 2 stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat, 2 single crochet, then make a decrease. At the end of the round, you will have 18 stitches. For the next round, do not make decreases. Crochet, single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Stuff a little bit. For round 8, crochet, single crochet in the first 4 stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 15 stitches. Change to light brown cower yarn. From round 9 to round 14, crochet single crochet in every stitch of the previous round. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Now let's crochet the tail. Again, we are going to use beige and light brown cower yarn. Start with the beige cower yarn and make a magic ring. 
crochet six single crochet into it. For round two crochet single crochet in the first stitch then make an increase repeat one single crochet then make an increase at the end you will have nine stitches Three, crochet single crochet in the first two stitches then in the following make an increase repeat two single crochet then in the next one make an increase repeat till the end of the round until you have 12 stitches For the next round do not make increases, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For the next round crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 15 stitches. For round 6 crochet single crochet in the first 4 stitches then make an increase, repeat 4 single crochet then make an increase, repeat till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches. For round 7 crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Now change to light brown color yarn and for the round 8 crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 9 crochet single crochet in the first 4 stitches then make a decrease, repeat 4 single crochet then make a decrease, repeat till the end of the round. For the next round crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Stuff a little bit. For the next round crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches then make a decrease, repeat 3 single crochet then 1 decrease. Repeat till the end of the round until we have 12 stitches. Crochet 
three rounds without any decreases. Make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Next, make only one decrease, then finish with a slip stitch, leave a long tail for sewing. Now we are going to crochet two small eyebrows. Use beige color yarn, chain 6. Then make single crochet in the second chain stitch away from the hook. Continue crocheting single crochet till the end of the row. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Finally we are going to crochet two spots, one small and one bigger. Use dark brown color yarn. First crochet the small spot, make a magic ring with six single crochet into it. Then for the second and final round make an increase in each one of the previous six stitches. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail. And now let's crochet the bigger spot. First chain four stitches. For the second round, make an increase in the second stitch away from the hook. Then in the next one, crochet one single crochet. In the next, crochet four single crochets. Then in the next stitch, make a single crochet. And in the final one, make an increase. At the end, you will have 10 stitches. For the final round, crochet an increase in the first stitch, then make single crochet in the next three stitches, then crochet an increase in the next two stitches, then again in the next three stitches make a single crochet and in the final stitch crochet an increase. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. We are ready for assembly. You will need a darning needle, bubble pins and scissors. First we are going to sew the snout to the head. The brown part of the snout goes below the white eye patches. Sew the white eye patches to the head. Now let's sew the black little nose on top of the snout. Continue with the ears. Attach the ears to the head and make sure they are at the same distance from the center, two or three switches in between, 
then sew them on. Next step is to sew the two eyebrows just above the white eye patches. Now it's time to sew the arms. Attach them three rows below the dark brown part of the head and the body. Make sure they are at the same level, then sew them to the body. Now let's sew the belly to the body. The belly goes two rows below the snout. Next step is to sew the legs at the bottom of the body. Continue with the tail. Sew it on the lower part of the back. Finally, sew the two spots on the back and the tail of Bingo. Using a long tail of beige yarn, make a few stitches on the arms and the legs to shape the Bingo's paws. Using thin black yarn, embroider the clothes. Then, using thin black yarn again, embroider the mouth. If you want, you can use bubble pins to mark where the mouth will be. Finally, use a small piece of beige yarn and make a small stitch on Bingo's nose. Your Bingo is ready! Below in the description of the video there is a link if you want to crochet also bluey. See you soon!